Hey guys, the Cubed here with another fan boxing for all of you. Today I have three letters, and that's all I have from fans. However, I do have a package from Algorithmist, and then I have a package from eBay, which I will be opening up in this fan boxing. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and start with this package from the Algorithmist. If you guys have not seen her channel, I highly recommend you guys go check her out. She also sells some lube, her own custom lube, or I think she, she used to. I'm not sure if she still does. But I bought these two puzzles from her. One of them is not stickered. But it is. it has the same concept as a force cube, and just in case if anybody wants to know what that is, it's when you get six stickerless puzzles, for example, you get six of these, and then you take off all the white side and you put them all together. Because the plastic used for stickerless puzzles is a lot better than, or it's a lot smoother than, let's say, a black-bodied puzzle. So this is a Cyclones Boy 2x2. Turns really nicely. So you can see here that she took the plastic from six. So there's four, one, and then two. Looks like it kind of it's coming apart, but so I guess this is like an, a Cyclones 2 unboxing, stickerless in a way. I will be putting on my own stickers. Corner cutting right out of the, I guess, right out of the box. It's about 45, a little bit over. Reverse. So a little bit less than half a cubie, and then here I have a Florian modded uh, Shank Shao Mega Minx. This turns really smooth. This is really nice. I'm not a big Mega Minx person. I just thought that if I wanted to get into Mega Minx, I might as well have a good one. And I want to have like the ability. To, I want to have the option to be good at Mega Minx. And so this is really good Mega Minx. And if I wanted to start competing in it, I'd probably use this. I currently just use the beginner's method. I don't even use any OLL algorithms. I just do like the pogo bat method for 3x3 on there. But okay, on to the letters, and I'll do the eBay one last. I have a letter from Valerie in uh, North, Cali ah, North California. That's not even a thing. A state. North Carolina. Making so many mistakes here. Alright, and it looks like she taped the end, and I really don't want to get out my knife. So instead, I'm just going to open it like that. And it's open it up some more. And one thing I want to say is that recently a fan of mine said that they wanted to spend a hundred dollars on a fan boxing package. And I just wanted to say that you guys, I really don't want you spending that much on me. I'm just like another cuber. If you wouldn't spend a hundred dollars on some other cuber, why would you spend it on me? I understand if you would send like a random drawing to them, maybe a like one cube, but I'm not asking for cubes. I don't want you guys to spend a hundred dollars on me, let alone more than a hundred, or I don't even want you guys spending fifty dollars on me, because I'd feel bad, and it's your money, you guys should spend it on your own puzzles, and also I will not love, I think I've already said this before, I won't love you more for buying me, like a smash time machine, more than anyone who would send me a drawing, so whoever, so I'll love Valerie as much as somebody who bought me a smash time machine, because I just love all of my fans, and I appreciate all the hard work you guys are putting into these drawings. So, looks like it's just a drawing, and here we got the turtle and goldfish drawing, we don't have the fire breathing lizard, here we got a, an Eevee, a squirtle, making or roasting some marshmallows over a fire, it's a raining goldfish, it's on a beach, this is pretty cool, not exactly sure what that is, I think that's an umbrella and those are just some towels, by Valerie Conrad, I guess she's okay with her last name being there because she signed it there and she knew I'd be putting it on, so that Goldfish looks pretty good compared to Finn, and I think turtles are so awesome because the shells, like their designs on the shells, are just absolutely amazing. Just like Squirtle, Squirtle's one of my favorite, or actually Blastoise is. So if anybody again wants my top ten Pokemon and wants to draw some Pokemon for me, I'd love that. I love this drawing. Thank you so much, Valerie, for sending it. And I don't think there is a letter. Let me look in the package. Uh, it seems to me like there is no letter. So thank you for that drawing, Valerie. Next we have, I blocked out the whole thing because it had like their parents' names, I think. It said like, Mr. and Mrs. this. I'm not going to say the last name, but I'm hoping that whoever sent this, uh, whoever sent this, hopefully, what am I trying to say? What, what am I trying to do with my life? Hopefully, s signed their name in it. Alright, it seems like this right here, kind of stuck onto the 
top of the letter. Okay, so is that it? Yeah, that is it. Okay, hope you like it. I spent two whole days on Alakazam or whatever his name is. I know nothing about Pokemon. Well, I hope you like it. Brian, Red Horse Cuber. Alright, so let's check out this drawing of Alakazam. Ooh, that's pretty good. Alakazam and Pikachu, and then the turtle. I mean, like, look at that shell. Look at how awesome the design is. It's just a bunch of random squiggles, cool shapes, and we got Finn. We got the beach. It's not raining any goldfish, but that's okay. This still looks awesome. So, I forgot to... I think I mentioned this before. I'm going to put all of these up on my wall, and then I'm going to be updating it on Facebook. Starting after I upload this video, I have a bunch of drawings from all of you. And right now, my wall... Let's see if you guys can see in the background right there. It's just a bunch of cars. I can't really take my camera off the tripod. But uh, it's just a bunch of cars, and I kind of want it to be filled with drawings from all of my fans, because I love all of you guys. And so thank you, Red Horse Cuber. He signed it right there. And I think that is it for that. Now let's get on to the last package. This is from Nick. I think I could just open this up. I really need to get a loader opener. I know I've said that in multiple videos. And I hope you guys are liking the series. If you are, let me know in the comments below. And also, if you guys have watched up to this point, try and guess my new main, 3x3. It's, it's pretty cool, this 3x3. That's my, my new main. I'm not going to say what it is, but let, leave your comments down below if you made it this far into the video what you guys think my new main 3x3 is. So, I'm not sure what to open up first. Okay, here's the letter. Okay. Yo, Matt, I just wanted to send you this Dragon Ball Z drawing, drawing I drew a few months back. I looked at it from the printed picture and drew it the best I could. Haha, <laughs> it took about two hours and it kind of sucks because I'm a horrible artist. But I sent both so you could compare. I hope you enjoy my crappy art. You are also too cool for school and you are one of my favorite YouTubers. I hope you have a good day and bye-bye. So Nick Dubs, aka Crazy Kung Fu Cuber, go check out his channel. And Valerie and Red Horse Cuber, I'm not sure what... Uh, what your channels are, or actually no, Red Horse Cuber's channel is Red Horse Cuber. Valerie, I'm not sure what your channel is. If you have a channel, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know what it is. Right, so here is the actual drawing, or not the drawing. That'd be awesome if that was a drawing. Here is the picture, and then here is the drawing. I don't know who that is, but it looks really awesome. I like this part right here. Kind of like, like the, the wavy part. And then the feet look really cool. It looks like... Okay, this might make me sound stupid, but a... It looks like that guy from Mythbusters with the beret on his face with wings and chicken feet. I don't know, but that looks that's what it looks like to me. Maybe like a fin on his head. But Nova Sherman. I don't I don't know who that is. But thank you for this drawing. I'll definitely put this up on my wall too. So thank you, Nick. Go subscribe to Crazy Kung Fu Cuber. And now onto this eBay package. I know it's not from a fan. I'm not even sure if it's mine, it said it under my mom's name, and I know she got it for me. So I just saw the package and she's out of town. So I'm assuming that this is my package, if it's not, then I will definitely cut this out. But in here, I'm gonna, I gotta open this up off camera, because of how big it is. Okay, cut it open. This is well packaged, that's what this is. Oh my god, this is crazy. Yes, okay, this is exactly what I think it is. Alright, so in here... It's, it's like taped on the back. I don't know what it's... There you go. In here is a Rubik's game. So let's take a look at this. This is like an old puzzle game. It's pretty excited for this. So. Cubists. I guess that's what they're called, not cubers. So this is the next step. The world's most famous puzzle challenge is no longer a solitary occupation. It's now a mind-stretching, all-absorbing, three-dimensional strategy game whose playing surface can be rearranged to form billions upon billions of different patterns. So choose your cube colors, paste, place the pegs on your cube squares, try, or trying to three, ah, I can't speak, trying for three pegged squares of the same color, 
all in a row, all on the same side of the cube. And then give the cube a twist to foil your opponent's strategies. Challenge a friend to Rubik's game. So, I did not know this was going to be coming with the original box. So let's take a look at this. So that's all it comes with. Here is Rubik's game. So I guess it's like a Rubik's brand puzzle. And in here are a bunch of pegs. And what you're trying to do is try to line them up, I guess. Or those three yellow, yeah. Okay, so let's say this was right here. I would put a peg here, and then I would turn it. And then my opponent would turn it. And they would try and make it so that my next turn can't be that. So they might place it on their blue and p make it there so that they can try and do a diagonal there. So I'm just going to go ahead and try and solve this now. Because, I'm, because I don't know, because I can. And this color scheme is way off. I, th I think this is Japanese color scheme. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's white, yellow, orange, green, red, blue. I think just switching yellow and blue makes it the Japanese color scheme. Solved it, and I'm just going to put some pins on just to see if it works. So... Looks to me like the pins work. And then you would just kind of put them on the yellow, and then you would turn it. And then I guess the first to have like three pins, like this, I'll do it on the blue. It's kind of tough to put these in. These like really fit in there. So I guess the first person to do that wins. So it's kind of like tic tac toe in a way, but a little bit more challenging. Should be fun. Maybe I'll bring this to a competition, and maybe I'll play Alex Devane because he's a nub. So, there is that. Okay, I'm boxing. Let me show you guys the drawings once more. While I quickly grab them, hold on a second. Alright, so here are all the drawings. We got this one from Valerie. Thank you, Valerie. This one from Red Horse Cuber, and this one from Nick. So thank you so much to the three of you for sending me these drawings. And also, one thing I want to say is that Crazy Bad Cuber is also having a PO. He just recently got a PO box. So if you're watching this, Dan, uh, thank you for watching, first of all. But also, expect an awesome package from me. I, I worked really hard on it. It took about a whole day, or I think three hours. But it was like oh, it was that. It was like throughout the whole entire day, I just kept working on that. So make sure you guys go check out his first unboxing of fan mail and expect or hopefully expect to see mine because I shipped it out earlier this week and I really hope it gets there and I had no clue shipping to Canada would be so expensive but it is so I really hope you enjoy it Dan anyways there's that fan boxing for all of you if anybody wants to draw something crazy for me next time you guys can draw a cat standing on its hands have a potato somewhere in the background have a sign that says Alex Devani is a nub A-L-E-X space d-a-v-a-n-i space is a nub nub is spelled n-u-b have a sign that says alex devani is a nub that'd be awesome and also have uh, a goldfish just like a little goldfish hidden somewhere in your picture i think it'd be really interesting somebody mentioned that i should do this i want all of you guys if you guys haven't already sent me something to draw me something and just hide a goldfish somewhere and then every time i get a drawing i'll look for the goldfish and if i find it then I'll give myself one point. I don't know what the points mean, or give myself a thumbs up, golden star, or something like that. But anyways, go hide a goldfish somewhere in the drawing. So again, a cat standing on its hands with a potato in the background, and a sign that says Alex Devani is a nub. And if you want to add some other cool stuff like a Pokemon somewhere in it, that'd be awesome too. And now on to the outro stuff. I'd like to thank uh, Algorithmus for sending me the Shangsha Florian modded Mega Minx, and also the Cyclone Boys like, quote-unquote Force Cube 2x2. Two so thank you so much. I want you to definitely go and draw me whatever I just said, the cool cat thing. Also, with anything you send me, please put your YouTube channel or your real name if you prefer that, and I'll give you a shout out. Just try your best to keep everything appropriate. Feel free to send letters too. This series all depends on how much stuff you all send me and how often. So if nobody sends me anything, there won't be a series. I'm hoping this series goes on for a long time with the help of all of you. My PO box address can be found in the description. Please put the name as Matthew Dickman and not to keep dude. Feel free to let me know if you'll be sending me something. If you have any questions, feedback, or suggestions on how to improve my videos, please let me know in the comments below. Please leave a like and read the description for the Letter War winners. This video's letters are RHJ. Read the description if you're confused about what these letters are for. Discounts and coupons can be found in the description as well. I hope you all enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn.